They fixed it, they fixed it, they fixed it. What's going on guys, Vosife here, back with another Borderlands video. In this one, I want to showcase one of my favorite guns in the entire game, the SNS Draco. This is a machine gun, which in the original Borderlands 1, did not go through the coding correctly, and it would appear as a purple weapon. Blind Squirrel, with their most recent port of Borderlands Remastered, went ahead and treated us by fixing that, which when I saw this for the first time, because my friend had picked one up, and then I finally got my own here in the armory, I was just so happy that they put the red text on and they added it to that orange tier of rarity. So, in the original Borderlands game, this was a orange weapon that appeared as a purple so not everyone knew about it but this gun is absolutely amazing usually drops with an 8.8 fire rate and a times three times four fire multiplier and the text reads dragon fire and this is what the gun looked like on the previous gen it would appear as a purple glorious massacre but you could see the red text effects which basically the dragon fire red text effect is increased magazine size higher accuracy, lower recoil, and then you get the 2 to 4 multiplier on the flame damage. So that definitely made it a dominant elemental assault rifle. But what I love about this gun, when you look at it, just thinking of what the red text gives off, the gun definitely has like that dragon head with a long snout of appearance. Like I think of an old Elder Dragon anytime I look at this gun and it's just absolutely amazing. I run this on my personal Lilith Fire build along with a few other weapons. In fact, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll put up some footage of my ideal Fire build with Lilith, which is probably my second favorite build to run. But this thing just absolutely mows against waves, and this is something that I really enjoy using in the Underdome personally. So looking at my loadout here, starting with the guns, I run the Hellfire of course, the Volcano, the Draco, and I got lucky on PS4 and was able to match the same launcher that I had on the previous gen, a pearlescent Undertaker rocket launcher with a fire multiplier. This thing just mows everything, as long as, again, you're running the right stuff, which is mainly your class mod. Don't have a pearlescent shield yet on PS4. I use transfusion grenades for the health return, and then the Firefly class mod, which is responsible for making a lot of this happen. You get the ignite damage, and then the elemental effect chance. So a few things to note here before I roll the gameplay of the Draco. I don't have a level 68 version, and on top of that, I'm also not running the best class mod that I can with some additional skill points and you're gonna see that this thing still mows people so this is my skill tree just everything that I've invested into mind games I think you only need one point here being that Lilith is shooting so many bullets 5% you'll get that stun off you don't always need it I feel like it's something that you don't need to chuck five points into because that's a bit of overkill. I mean, again, you're dishing out so many bullets and so much DPS that a 5% chance to proc on stun is really, really fair. And being able to use those four skill points elsewhere instead of making that five of five just makes your build that much more diverse. So looking at the Draco in the Underdome where it really, really shines, keep in mind I'm using one that has a times three fire multiplier and it's also not my level. This thing is level 66 with no scope it dominates regardless of, I mean, being that you have such a large magazine, we're talking about 120 bullets, it's perfect for a situation like the Underdome, or just a general situation where you're surrounded by lots of enemies. It's accurate at a medium range, and again, that long SNS snout really makes this an accurate gun when firing from the hip up close, so this is definitely a fun one to use. I definitely wanted to showcase it in the Underdome with no challenges or buffs applied, like additional auto rifle damage or elemental damage, you're seeing that I ripped through that super bad lunatic. I took out one eyed jack shield with an electrocution weapon and then just mowed him down with this Draco. So, definitely give this gun a shot. It's an absolute blast to use, especially with the appropriate build in class mod. Make sure you guys definitely use those two things in combination with it. And yeah, that's it for the video. So, if you guys enjoyed this one, definitely feel free to leave a like and sub to the channel for more Borderlands. And a big shout out to Gearbox and Blind Squirrel for service in the fan in a very small, but big way for us core fans out there that have always wanted to see something like this get fixed. And yeah, that's it for the video. This has been Vosife. Have a good weekend, guys. Later.